I've already had a toe slash foot slash leg amputation. So how could the PAD revascularization procedure help me? Great question. So sometimes what we've seen in patients is they'll have something called ascending amputations. Their leg arteries occlude, they have severe PAD. Maybe they never had a revascularization procedure like we do to help open that up. Maybe they were in an area where nobody offered that. And unfortunately, after some period of time, they'll have to get you know, a toe amputated. And that's tragic. They still don't get a revascularization procedure. Then maybe a year goes by and their disease gets worse. Now they already had a toe amputated, they're gonna now get a mid-foot amputation, more of the foot amputated. Unfortunate, right? It's ascending. Maybe another two years later, they'll get a below the knee amputation. And another year after that, an above the knee amputation. So even if one is at an amputation, that doesn't mean their arteries are open. The arteries are still, the PADs still there. And the amputations can get worse and you could require more amputations higher up if the arteries aren't opened up, revascularized. So if you're a patient, you've had a toe amputation in say your right leg, what do you need a revascularization procedure for us with um, to prevent further amputation, going further up your leg, right? So if your doctor feels you still have PAD, even after the amputation, hopefully he'll send you to us. We can evaluate your arteries, do an ultrasound, do a history. Based on that, see how your arteries look. It's unfortunate that you've already had an amputation. We would have been very happy to see you years prior to that, and hopefully we could have revascularized your arteries before you needed the amputation. But if that's water under the bridge, you know, that's, that's in the past, we can't do anything about that. What we can do is make sure your arteries are as wide open as possible now, so you don't need further amputations going higher up your leg.